Welcome back to Romania, y'all. We have made it to Cluj Napoca, which is the unofficial capital of Transylvania. And we have one goal today, to try all of the delicious, traditional Romanian food. Let's go. started at lunchtime. We have found a delightful place for lunch called the Samaleria. It's a Samale restaurant. We'll show you what those are here in just a second, but we were given a little complimentary bevy to get things going. Tino, open up the palate. This is palinka. I've been told a raspberry flavor. It smells very, very strong. And so to that we say sanatate. Oh, that's nice. It doesn't like have a super duper harsh burn and you can definitely taste the raspberry. It has a bit of a burn maybe at the end, but it's not like tequila or anything and it's got a nice sweetness at the front of the palate. That's my review. Mm -hmm. Cheers. These beautiful little babies are sarmale. It's the main thing that we came for. Cabbage rolls, basically. It is the national dish of Romania. And all this time that we've been here, we haven't been able to have any because they almost always, 90% of the time, have meat in them. And that's not usually our jam. But today, we have three different kinds that are vegetarian. Can you believe? What a gift, I'm so excited. So, we have grape leaf ones, grape leaf, you get it. Then we have a sweet cabbage and a sour cabbage one. Then we have a polenta dish that is called Mama Liga. Mama Liga. I believe it's cooked with like milk and eggs and this, a yogurt like thing. Then we have some sour cream on the side, some peppers, more cabbage, and then our other dish, if you'll come along on the journey with me, is bouge. This is a vegetarian version. You can also, also get it with meat. It's got a heaping portion of sour cream, a nice fried egg, some peppers, and what looks like some cheese. Yeah, some cheese. Oh, it looks good. I'm so excited. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna dig into the samane. Not sure which one's sour or sweet, but I'm about to find out. That's really good. My guess is that one's maybe the sour one. The cabbage leaf is very kind of soft, a little crisp. It has a little bit of kind of heftiness to it, which holds the rice and the ingredients. It's very delicious. Let's get the other one to try real quick. Put some sour cream on it. I think it's the way you're supposed to eat it traditionally. It's really good. I think that one's a sweet one. A little crispier on the cabbage leaf on that one. It's really good. It's not that sweet either or sour. It kind of just hearty traditional meals, which honestly would be good on a cold day with a mama liga and a samale and some sour cream and a little fire going in the fireplace. Ah, what a good winter day that would be. All right, let's get into it. I already got into the Marmot Mama Liga, which is delicious. It's the polenta and it's got a nice crispy exterior and very moist and soft on the inside. Delicious, love. Let's get into this cabbage roll. It smells so savory. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. It's so savory and delicious. If I didn't know better, I would say it wasn't vegetarian, but it is. It's so flavorsome. And getting some more cabbage. It's absolutely delicious. I love the picture that Jordan was painting for you guys of a nice winter day, but it's July, it's summer, y'all, and I'd still eat this. A big, cold sour cream on top. Good to go. Let's give the uh, Mama Liga a try. So this is kind of like polenta. It's like a maize flour. And this, they have a simple kind here, which is just like that and water and maybe some salt or something. This one has a little bit of some kind of yogurt, some kind of Romanian yogurt, some milk, the maize, some salt. So hopefully a little bit more flavorful. The exterior was so kind of crispy and holding this soft interior and that corn flavor. That's good. That's homey. That's a homey milk. Mm. So inside them, I feel like we didn't do a good enough job of explaining. It's more or less like a veggie stew. Usually it's going to have rice, meat, and maybe some, you know, kind of like a 
mirepoix, the carrots and onion, that kind of thing. Ours is obviously way more veggies. I see some mushrooms maybe, rice, carrots, lots and lots of good seasoning, some like confet, that kind of thing. Very warm, very homey, very stewed flavors. That's what they taste like on the inside. So far, I don't ha notice a huge difference between the different types of cabbage, cabbage, but honestly, I'm thinking a fair amount of sour cream on them. <clears throat> but you know what else is funny? All of our plates came with these peppers, and this is the second time now in Romania where they have got me. Okay, they've got me. The other day, we were out to dinner, and I got an appetizer that was just like a ricotta bruschetta, and it had little peppers on top. And I'm sorry, but I do not expect this region of the world to have spicy food, so I just went hard on it. It was the spiciest pepper I've had in a long time. I think it was a serrano and it had all the seeds and I ate the whole thing. And once again, these puppies. It's nice though, because you know, Jordan and I love spicy food, but I took a good bite and I was like, oh, oh, they aren't messing around. Oh, it's such an interesting, like huge difference to all the other food. Just like a huge, big, spicy bite. I love it. I'm not scared. This is the Bouge, B-U-L-Z. It's made with the mamaliga, so that like corn maize type of stuff, similar to a polenta, but bigger and stuffed. Again, you can get them stuffed with meat. We have it stuffed with several different types of cheeses and some herbs, and then you have cheese on the side, sour cream on the side, and egg. We're going hard in the dairy department here, but I love it. It's a lot more kind of wet on, in the middle. Still has the crispy, crusty exterior. Looks delicious. It has that beautiful cheese pull. Let's eat. A little sour cream for good measure. It smells delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very nice. More mild than the other one that we had, the, um, just the regular mamaliga. Warm, hearty, extremely filling. I'm gonna put some of the, don't mind me using my fingers, I'm gonna put some of this little cheese on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So just from the visual aspects of this, it reminds me of the zeppelini that we had in Lithuania, but I know it's going to be different because the zeppelini was more of some kind of like bread dough surrounding cheese that they had, and this is kind of the mamaliga. It's like corn flavor. Mmm. Mm hmm Yeah, definitely different than the zeppelini. A lot softer. Has that corn crispy on the exterior, really soft on the interior. And that cheese is good. Whatever type of cheese that is. A little tangy. I'm not sure what kind of cheese that is. If y'all know what cheese comes in the bowls, let us know in the comments below. Hmm. Also, this is on the house as well. A dessert. It's some kind of um, semolina. Which, do you know what that is? What is semolina? No, it's used in pasta. It's used in pasta. I'm not sure. Because at first I was like, oh, is this the mamaliga because of the color? No, it's semolina. And it looks like it has some kind of sweet sauce on it. And admittedly, and it's on the house. Y'all, the hospitality here in Romania. Like, I know we say this probably every video that we make, but it's so true. Every time, like, we're in a new place, we just experience more and more. Whether we're in Rashov or the Kobor farm or here in Cluj, you just can't get away from the hospitality. And I love it. Mm, Carmery. Mm -hmm. Carmely. Okay, this is the semolina dessert, sitting in a beautiful caramel sauce. Kind of reminds me of like a dulce de leche. Oh, it smells so caramely and good. I'm excited. Here we go. It has like a slightly brulee top, so a little bit of a crisp, soft. The um, texture of it, again, is kind of similar to a polenta, but denser, drier. That caramel sauce has like a brightness to it. Ooh, I don't know what they're putting in it, but I like it. This, ooh, this would be so yummy with ice cream, but that's the American in me talking. It's delicious as it is. I love this. This is really good. With that, y'all, we're gonna wrap up our lunch. We're gonna go explore the Old Town just a little bit before we head back out for even more delicious Romanian food. That Sarmale shop was delicious. We got to know the owner a little bit learn a little bit more about Romania and history, and it was just awesome. We've learned that the Romanian people are really friendly and will 
have conversations with you where a lot of times you don't get that when you're traveling to different places, right? Yeah, this is a special country where it's just easier to access local culture, local people, all that sort of thing. Sometimes when you're in a, maybe a really heavily traveled location, everything's at a distance, right? Because they've made things just for you, the tourists. Right. Whereas here you're very integrated into everyday life and everybody always wants to know like why are you here yeah. <laughs> we're happy to tell them right. it's just i'm always like well why do you think it's a beautiful place why, why not would, why wouldn't i come yeah. be here but anyway it was great i'm yeah. ready to walk around a little bit let everything settle do a little tourist in in old town here in Cluj. let's go y'all and I'll tell you what you can't miss it because there is a massive massive cathedral which you can see behind me there's a huge statue here as well which I believe that is Matthias Horvin who was one of the Hungarian kings I believe in like the mid to late 1400s and fun fact he was actually born here in Cluj in the Transylvanian region of Romania and they have a huge huge statue in his honor here right in front of the cathedral which is really cool to look at. the cathedral and explored it y'all and this cathedral is beautiful it's pretty simple in terms of the architecture but the stained glass windows y'all are so vibrant and they tell so many stories and like I was just enjoying sitting there in the pews looking up at the stained glass and just taking it all in it was also interesting they had some kind of paintings on the walls as well that a couple of people were finishing up in there and kind of preserving which was really neat to just watch highly recommend doing that when it gets a little hot outside go inside the church cool down a little bit take it easy this church also was free to get in they operate on donations only so definitely check that out when you're here to get coffee but how freaking adorable is that bookshop y'all it's called the antiquariat i love and it's the size of a closet i don't think two people could stand in there but it is chock full of books to the ceiling i think if you love reading or you want to keep bookshop oh my gosh what a gem we just walked by it and i peeped my head and i'm like oh my gosh it's like no more bigger than a telephone booth practically so cute anyway let's go get coffee
our walk to sort of walk off lunch to go all the way to Central Park, which is absolutely adorable. It has tons of biking and walking paths, and it's got a big old pond with a lot of ducks, and the cutest little flamingo boats and dragon boats, and maybe the funniest looking ones are the car boats that it looks like a little car on the water. Everybody's having a great time, there's a cool breeze. It's so just idyllic and lovely, and both of us are very like, hmm. We had some coffee, but still, you know, a full belly and sunny day. We're just kind of enjoying the vibe, but we are on our way to some more food. This is a food video after all, and we don't want to leave you hanging, so let's go. Mmm, delicious. We got another little complimentary pre-meal beverage. This one is not polenka, it's something else, and it's like a cherry, kind of a sour cherry type of a thing. Very delicious, a lot less strong. A little sweetness, it's really yummy. You know, open up the appetite and get us ready for a meal. Jordan got the big guns though, so I'm interested to see how he likes his. <laughs> we are at restaurant Rowata under a beautiful trellis of grapevines. It's so beautiful and like nice and cool. We're also here very, very, very early for dinner, so there's hardly anybody here, which is fine. Great for filming. We've ordered a few more traditional items, so lots of food to come. But I want to see uh, how Dordy likes his booze. <laughs> Our food just came, y'all, and I don't know how we're gonna eat this. The soup that's in a bread bowl looks massive on its own. It looks like it would take all day just to eat. Yeah. Y'all, this all looks very good. Let's go ahead and give the uh, funny gallo a try. <laughs> Fiery. Very fiery. It's strong. This one's the plum. I love that they give you these just on the house every time. It's just so welcoming and nice. Anyway, food. This in front of me is cabbage a la Cluge. It's basically a bunch of, I believe, pickled cabbage. It has sour cream on top and it's mixed with a pork and beef mixture with a bunch of other seasoning. It's special here to Cluge, hence the name. So I'm excited to give that a try. This is one of the popular dishes to get when you're here in Cluj. We also have the eggplant salad, y'all. We had this when we were in Brashov, and that one there was delicious. It comes with some red onion on the side. So we got some bread that we're gonna spread this on. I'm excited to see if this is just as good as the one in Brashov. And look at this thing, y'all. This is the chorba de mazole. It is the bean soup, and it is huge. Look at that. It's like a cauldron massive, full of beans, and delicious spices. Bon appetit. Hmm. Okay, getting in on the bean soup. You've seen me have this before, but this one looks honestly even better. The bread looks so soft and fluffy. I was told that they usually have it with like, she called it a red onion salad, but it looks like kind of red onion, maybe some paprika. So I put a bunch of that in there as well. I'm gonna have hot breath after this. It's gonna be delish. Mm. What's not to like about that? So warm, so homey and savory. Mm. The beans are great. That's really well done. Carrots, potatoes, bright red onion. Mm -hmm. I recommend. It's really good. Look at this, y'all. It kind of reminds me of like a shepherd's pie, but instead of like mashed potatoes, it has the cabbage. I believe it's like a fermented cabbage. It has the pork and beef mixture. It has some tomato sauce, it has some rice in there, and a whole host of different spices, and you eat it with a sour cream. That's really good. It's actually really good. It kind of reminds me of like, it's like a meatloaf topped with soft cabbage because of the tomato mixture and the meat and the rice. It has that meatloaf type taste to it. Very homey. I just, I feel like everything we're eating today for the most part is like comfort food. Everything is just very hearty and a little bit soulful. It's very good. It's delicious. Maybe a little bit of onion. Just, you know, just cause a little bit of onion. Hi friends. You want some eggplant? Sorry. 
This is eggplant salad. Sorry, I'm just being silly. Um, I took a big old sip of Jordan's palinka and he got a little annoyed with me because I didn't give him a sip of mine before I finished it. <laughs> but it, was, it was rude, it was. Anyway, eggplant salad looks delicious. Let's give it a go. It smells mostly like onion. <laughs> It's delicious. Reminds me a bit of like coleslaw. This one is a bit more, I assume there's mayo in it. I don't know, but it tastes more, um, I guess, wet or heavier with mayo than the one that we've had before. Very delicious, very mild, a really nice kind of summer, like snack type of a deal. I definitely recommend, especially if you want, you know, add some veggies in your diet. If you're in Romania and you're eating a lot of traditional food, you're probably eating a lot of meat. Add some veggies. Dessert is here. We have ordered a single order of the papinage and they split it between us. One order came with two. They smell delightful. These are the fried kind. We had um, boiled papinage the other day and I think both of us prefer the fried. It smells delightful. Also, first cutting into this, it has like visible bits of cheese inside it. And every time we've had it, like it says that it's a cheese donut, but you don't really see it. It just looks like a donut. This one you can see little pieces. So I'm very interested to give it a taste. Mm. Mm. If you haven't seen our other Romanian videos, which <laughs> go watch those, or you aren't familiar, this dessert is called papanash, papanashi. It's basically a Romanian donut type of a thing with cheese, and it's got usually blueberry jam on top and like a kind of a sour cream sort of a cream sauce. And a lot of times it has like a little donut hole right on top as well, like a little hat. Very decadent, very good. Sometimes you'll see a boiled version that's more like a dumpling than like a fried donut. <clears throat> They're delightful. Highly recommend. Ooh, that's soft. Wow. Ooh, yeah. This one's stuffed with the cheese. What? That's crazy. Cheese is like embedded all throughout the dough. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. You can tell they just fried this fresh. So good. I love the jam. It has that tartness to it, the fruit. Mm. And whatever that cheese sauce, that little sour kind of cream cheese sauce on it. So delicious. All right, y'all, that is a wrap on the Romanian food tour. We are stuffed. We couldn't fit anything else if we even wanted to. Gosh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. We had to eat our dinner a little early, as I mentioned, just so we yeah. could like get everything done in the daylight hours. And so he's gonna have to roll me home. I am like <laughs> struggling right now. Uh, he's gonna roll me home. <laughs> anyway, final thoughts on the restaurant we were just at, Roada. Um, I think the meals overall, the food there was fine. Nothing yeah, was like knocked our sods. <laughs> Nothing knocked, knocked our, our socks, socks off. off. It was all decent though. Question though, what was your favorite dish today? Mm, I really like the cabbage rolls. Mm. I know no that the grape leaf one probably isn't as traditional, but Ooh, I do prefer you're grape You're gonna start a fight leaves. in the comments. Don't hate me. <laughs> the bean soup was also quite delicious. The bean soup is joy by yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always love a good papinoche, but honestly, by the time yeah, that got there, I was just like, oh Lord. <laughs> Can't so much it. food, but everything was great. I also really loved getting to try all the different liquors and flavors yeah, that they kept giving us. Those that were was fun. That was awesome. It was a great day. I'm gonna go take a nap, maybe go to bed early, yeah. watch a movie. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if there's any Romanian dishes that we missed, let us know. What's your favorite? You didn't even ask me what's my favorite. I don't care. I wanna know what their favorite is. I'm just kidding. My, my favorite, surprisingly, was the Mama Liga. The simple mm. kind of like pan fried polenta type dish. It was very good. The corn flavor in there was so good. And honestly, like it wasn't too decadent or anything. That yeah. was the surprising it was one. Very good. We yeah. highly recommend that Samale restaurant. Oh, it's it's just yeah. a gem of a place, very casual, real small, but the owner is excellent. Just highly, highly recommend. That would be my top thing of the day. For, for sure. sure. For sure. Anyway, in the morning we're heading no. Yeah, yeah in the morning. Oh my gosh, tomorrow. To we're going to our next town, so we'll see you in the next one.